The Kanban view in monday.com is an easy way to manage a systematized process. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and how to use it. So as you can see here, I am in an example monday.com system, and I've got a couple of boards on the left hand side. Now we are on board number one here. What I want to do is go ahead and create a Kanban view. Now what is actually meant by Kanban view? It's a different view that shows the step by step process of something. Now we can use that for a number of different things. And I'll show you how in a moment. But what does step by step actually look like? Well, in most instances, it's going to be dictated by the status options on a status column. So as you can see here, we've got working on it, lost, done and test. Well, because it's a test environment. However, we can go ahead and add additional labels and that would actually allow us to create more steps in our Kanban view, which I'll come on to in a moment. But if I go ahead and add example one or step one, let's call it step number one, um, step number two. And let's say step number three. At three and then we will delete this test label delete the working on it or deactivate it for the time being and there we go so we've got a few different steps associated with our status now we've got step one two three and working on it lost and done now i know they're not the most useful piece of information in the world however i'm just going to show you an example for this video so now we've got our status options defined or our process defined by our status options we then want to go ahead and add the kanban view which is the plus option in the top left hand corner here where the main table option is and we're going to look for the kanban view now this is this option here if we are unable to find it go to explore more views and search kanban and there you go select the open in board option and the kanban view is automatically going to populate and you can see here we've got the various steps that we've just created now there are lots of changes that we probably want to make to our kanban view before we go ahead and start using it so let me walk you through those if we go to the cog option on the far right hand side here select the settings we've got a number of different options available to us so Number one is we need to define the status column that dictates our Kanban view. If you've got multiple status columns on your Kanban view, make sure you select the appropriate status column. As you can see here, I only have one, but using the drop down menu, you'll see all of your options available. Then moving on from there, we have our card columns. So this is the information that we can easily see from each of the cards. So if I select date, rating, status, that populates more information per card, and it's easier to see what is going on at a glance. However, do bear in mind that obviously the more information and the more items on the Kanban view, the more populated and the busier it's going to get, so harder to manage as a result. So just keep the most important information available to you. Moving on from there, we can then divide by something. So we can divide by, and as you can see, it automatically divides by group. We could change this to status as well. So you could check, you could divide by status or you could divide by group. I mean, in most cases, I don't think it's going to be particularly useful. I, I mean, group might be helpful. I definitely can't think of an instance in my head on the spot that status dividing by status is going to be helpful. So maybe select group. You can hide the empty columns if you want to, but for the, for the sake of this video, I'm going to unselect that option. We also have battery. This is the battery option up the top here. We can hide that if we would like to, or we can show it. It's entirely up to you. And then finally, we can add cover columns. So cover columns are like images. Um, if you add the files option here, it will show it as a cover. So it just shows it as an image, which can be quite useful. It's entirely up to you. So once you've got all of your Kanban settings ready, I'm going to turn the show battery back on for the sake of this video. I like that feature. I'm going to remove the settings and then there is a good chance we need to reorder our status or our process because quite often what happens is you add a number of different options to the status column, create a Kanban view, and then for whatever reason, it doesn't populate in order. Now, in order to make changes, it's really simple. All you need to do is just drag that status to the different positions. So step one, then step two, then step three, um, and then we can go ahead working on it, lost, done, whatever you like. Do bear in mind that for every status column, there is a blank option and that is default. There's nothing we can do about that. So I would strongly recommend utilizing it. So if we were using this for a project, I would put new project and press apply. Um, and then we go back to the Kanban view and you can see it's called new project. Then it goes into step one, then step two, then step three, then it's working on it, then it's lost and then it's done. How you choose to do this, it's entirely up to you. One final thing to note, 
is you can drag items from step to step very easily. You don't have to go back to the main table to update the status column. You can move them across the Kanban view very easily and automatically update the status column. And finally, you can click into any item and you can see all of the relevant information on the left hand side here. So these will be all of the columns associated with this particular board. And then on the right hand side, we've got the updates, files, activity log, and any of the other views that you use on an item to item basis. So finally, we can sort, we can search, we've got the person option, we've got filter options, we've got sort as well if you'd like to learn more about filters check out the link link above but there is one final thing that i want to tell you which is really helpful if we go to the more actions option here we've got these two drop down menu options we can hide and we've got conditional coloring so if we would like to hide a particular status option let's say we want to hide working on it all we need to do is untick that option and then go ahead and press save to this view so every time you come back to the kanban view the working on its status option will not be visible from the kanban view of course it still exists on the main table but on the kanban view it does not exist if i'd like to add it back you can go ahead and just tick it again and select save to this view so that's really really helpful if i want to remove let's say lost or working on it i go save to this view and those changes will be made so only those steps in the process will be visible and available to see from the Kanban view. One final thing I want to show you is conditional coloring. So I'm just going to add these back quickly because it, you know, there's more data there. And then we go to the conditional coloring. So we can color items by things. This is very helpful and it's very visual. So if I want to color something by, let's say, let's go for a nice pink it looks like when column so we need to define the column so we say group name person status rating for example. In this instance I'm going to say person so when person is equal to or owner is equal to me, then color all of the items as pink. I could say when a person is unassigned and then change this to, let's say, a navy blue and then go ahead and remove myself as an assignee for this particular item, that color will then be visible because neither of these items have had someone assigned. If I then go ahead and assign someone, that color will change again. So if you'd like to use conditional coloring, just go and add multiple conditions if you'd like to. When let's say group is equal to group two, then change this to let's say a nice green or we could go for any color and you can see how those changes are made. Just make sure you press save to this view to update all of the information. And every time you come back to the Kanban view, those colors will be available for you to see. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you do need any help with monday.com, check out the link below. We'd be delighted to help. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.